Hi everyone, this is Gurmeher Kaur. Today I'm with Shreya Talwar from Imperial College. This is going to be a very interesting video because I'm going to ask her about her experiences at her college and sort of compare them to my experiences at Oxford. And before we start, I would suggest you hit the subscribe button, which is right below. So Shreya, jumping from like maths to marketing, how did that happen? What made you do that switch? Um, I think there were a number of experiences um, after college that kind of helped me understand what I wanted to pursue. Yeah. Um, I started to study math because I enjoyed it in school and it was a subject that really fascinated me. But yeah. I think when I studied it more, I realized that it got really theoretical and I wasn't able to fully um, explore my creative side, which is something that I really started enjoying. Uh, when I was in college, I got into theater and filmmaking and that's where I realized that I wanted to do something that, um, that was a bit more creative. Um, after that, I started working at an organization called Teach for India and while working there, um, my work involved a lot of communications and, uh, and I realized that creative communications was the yeah. area that I was really interested in and that kind of helped me narrow down to marketing. I felt yeah. like it gave me the right balance between logic and creativity uh, and so that seemed to be the right path for me. No, sounds amazing. So, Shra, my second question to you is, starting at Imperial College, you know, would you recommend it to other people? people, uh, especially when they're evaluating college choices and what was your experience here like? Um, so I came during the pandemic and that was just a really weird year to study and um, so I think it came with its own ups and downs and yeah. I don't know if if my experience fully did justice to what the university has yeah. to offer because of that um, but I think that holds true for literally anything you did that year. Um, I think what I really enjoyed about being at Imperial was uh, the faculty that we had along with uh, along with the peer experiences and I think that was just a group of really smart people that you got to interact with uh, and that just made the classroom experience really enriching. Yeah. Um, I think something else that I really liked was there was always like some of the other activity happening yeah. even though it was virtual in that year but they really tried to make an effort to like help us engage yeah. through different experiences be it through the career clubs that mm -hmm. we had or different hackathons that were happening or career fairs that were happening online. So uh, I think they really helped you get exposed to the industry yeah. uh, and, and there was a huge variety of the different industries that you could uh, that you could look at and I was in the business school yeah. but given my interest was in sustainability yeah. I didn't expect to find much out there for me yeah. but I still felt that there were enough opportunities and support that I could gather um, so I thought that was yeah. Uh, yeah that was really like refreshing and that makes so much you know and, and I feel like you're totally selling the college to me because if that was your experience in a COVID year I think now that we're sort of moving out of the COVID years yeah. There is a lot of possibility of that experience being a lot more um, enriching and yeah. superior in a way. If yeah, I think the socio-cultural experience is definitely something that uh, that people be, would be able to make more out of yeah. in a non-COVID year. So. Yeah. You know, but talking about talking about college, I would love for you to tell the viewers about what were the most challenging things about ex experience here. Uh, I think most of my challenges came mostly from the fact that a lot of my course was virtual yeah. uh, because it was during the pandemic. I think um, you didn't get to meet as many yeah. people, you didn't get to go to campus as much, uh, you didn't get to like, like a lot of our group work ended up being like half virtual and half in person and I felt like that really took away from, uh, from like getting to know people a lot. Yeah. Or, also just settling in in a new country became yeah. a little bit harder because you couldn't find the support system for yourself yeah. as easily. I think those were definitely some of the challenges yeah. uh, that I had to navigate but um, they may not be the same yeah. in every year but yeah. But in terms of like course did you ever find that challenging or did you have support? I enjoyed what I did academically. I yeah. don't think it challenged me in a way that it was hard to yeah. cope up with. Yeah. I think it challenged me in a way that I was learning new things and that was exciting. Uh, but I don't think I felt overwhelmed by the coursework or, or struggled to manage yeah. that. I do think though that there is a fine balance between like um, between building your life here as well as as well as doing your coursework. Yeah. Um, but I think because we weren't also going out as much, it, it didn't make the coursework seem as overwhelming. Yeah, no, completely. Uh, I 100% agree with you. So sure, just moving on, you know, we talk about the challenging bits of it, but I also do want to know how did you decide that Imperial was uh, the right college for you? 
Uh, I think a huge part of my decision was also based on the fact that I wanted to study in the UK because of the graduate worker route that was uh, that was announced that year. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think for me, it was really important to work in the country where I also studied because I thought that would help me really like put what I've learned to practice uh, and and gather more experience. Uh, and so I think that became a huge reason for why I wanted to also come here. Uh, I think the other thing that attracted me was that the course had a balance between like academic learning and practical learning yeah. and we had things like consulting projects and internships and, and I thought that was something that would really help me to be able to to use what I was doing, what I was studying yeah. um, and, and really like solidify my learning. Yeah. I think that, that, that was one of the things that really attracted me to the program. Yeah, no that sounds amazing. And so what about you Gurmeha? You studied at Oxford as well and, yeah. and how was that decision like for you? I think for me my my year, I applied to multiple colleges. So I applied to King's in the UK, then I applied to Columbia in the US. Um, and I also remember applying to Cambridge as well as Oxford. Uh, and I remember getting into all of these colleges, but I think for me, the decision came down to one, very much like you, I wanted to be in the UK because I know New York was amazing. I also got into Columbia, New York is amazing. Um, but a part of me knew that this was going to be a bit closer to what I was studying. I think, especially when you're doing politics and you have similar parliamentary systems, um, that was something Mm -hmm. that I knew that would help my choice. And I think another thing was also funding. So I did have a 100% scholarship and I had a um, a full right to come into Oxford. So I think when I did secure my funding, Mm -hmm. um, I knew that this was what I was, I knew that Oxford was the place for me. Yeah, that's amazing. So, you know, Shra, I do want to talk about internships. Yeah. How did you find them? And did your college help you find these jobs and internships? Because you did speak that you wanted to work in the UK and that was a priority. So how did that work? Um, so I, in our course, we basically had uh, the option of doing either a consulting project yeah. or an internship. And uh, consulting projects were something that the university kind of uh, gathered a list of and we could we could choose which ones we wanted to pick and then the company selected you back and internships were something you kind of had to find on your own. Yeah. Um, I actually chose to do the consulting project but also decided to do part-time work on the yeah. site that term. Uh, how I find, found that job was actually through the college newsletter. We got one every week which had lots of opportunities yeah. and like uh, different like uh, networking events that were happening, career fairs that were happening and uh, I think that was something that I found really helpful yeah. uh, and so my job kind of, the, the part-time job that I did actually was through that. Yeah. Um, I think other support that we got from, from the college was that uh, there was a career cell that would, that was always there to like do workshops on like resume, cover letter, interviews and stuff like that. You could reach out to counsellors independently and, and speak to them and I think uh, that was you kind of have to make the most of the opportunities that are out there and put yourself out there to find what you need yeah. uh, but I think there was a lot that existed in the ecosystem and when you reached out you were always able to find the support you needed. No that's very cool and so nice that like the university played such an important role in your job hunt but talking about job hunt what is the job market like in the UK? I think it could really depend depending on the industry that you're yeah. in and, and what you're looking to do. Um, I think some things that really help with uh, with finding a job is just having a lot of clarity on what exactly you are looking for and what is it that you bring to the table and then tailoring every application that you put in Mm. to the company really understanding what they're looking for what Mm. is their work like what are the projects that they Mm. do and then and then mapping your experience to that and making it seem like the perfect fit so I think the more you research and the more you understand both yourself and the companies that you're applying for I think you're you're more and more likely to find success there no sounds very like sounds like a very sound advice (laughs) So Shreya, now, just end of the video, final messages to the students. What would you tell them about coming to the UK? You know, what notions should they come with and what should they leave behind? Um, I think it's a really exciting process to kind of, from your application to actually getting in and then and then moving countries and uh, it does come with a fair bit of challenges. Uh, But I think just coming in with a really open mind and not having no expectations or very high expectations really helps uh, because there will be things that will be very different from from what you expect them to be and some will really live up to your expectations so I think uh, just coming in with an open mind is really really helpful I think uh, the other thing would be like 
just immerse yourself in as many opportunities as you can um and and explore literally everything that you can immerse yourself in the city in the opportunities that the university has to offer interact with more and more people and i think that really helps make for a holistic experience no you're completely right i think i would say the same from like my experience just come with an open mind take everything in and i think you particularly had a tough year with covid uh, so you know i think all advice from you is the best advice <laughs> thank you Hope you like the video. If you have any other questions for us, put them in the comment box and we can check them out in the next video. And if you have any doubts about going abroad to study, there is a link in the description box for a free counseling session with an expert counselor. Check that out and have a great day.